Okay. We're going to begin in our chairs. Um, you can be relaxed. You can relax your shoulders down. Keep your hands either to your sides or on your knees. And just try and relax and bring your, yourself into this moment. You can keep your eyes um, closed or just relaxed. Soften your eyes. And take two big inhales through the nose and exhales out the, breath, out the mouth. I want you to think of your intention for this practice and your reason for showing up. can be something like, um, I want to be present, or I want to be strong, or I am strong, but think of everything in the, in the present moment. So I am happy. I am strong. Think of either a word or a phrase that you can just think about in your mind for the practice. Follow your natural breath in through the nose and out through the nose. This is your moment to check in here and now and check out of everything else just for this moment. I want to remind you that you know your body better than anyone else. So listen to your body and any pose, you can come out anytime you need to or want to. Only go up to the point, do not pass the point of any pain. You shouldn't feel any pain. Do any modifications you need for your body and take breaks. I want you to take two more deep inhales and exhales through the nose and out the mouth. can make a little little movements in your body as we start to bring our awareness a little bit back into ourselves. You can open your eyes. And let's begin by doing some little stretches. So we'll start with our shoulder shrugs. Inhale, lift the shoulders. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Now you can go at your own pace and you can pause when you get to the top and really tighten and let go. You can drop, you can do control. Let's take three more. Should be coming up on your last one. Now let's do some rolling of, of your head. Bring your neck down and start rolling slowly to the right. Drop your head back. Bring it around to the left shoulder. Roll it forward. Don't forget to breathe. And do this with control. If you want to feel more of a stretch, just let your head hang when it gets to each side. Or 
larger the pause is when it reaches the back. Go ahead and reverse the direction. Now we're going to bring our arms out and just roll the wrist. So bring it out to the side and the front. We can have it bent. Whatever feels good if you need a stretch. Do a stretch. Whatever feels good. do little arm circles and keep your hands just straight with your arms you can open them wide and close them get that flow and juices moving Come back to neutral. We're gonna do our legs and ankles. So we can bring one leg out at a time. You can bring both legs out. And just rotate your foot, your ankle. Like I said, you could do both or just one at a time. And make sure to rotate the other way. Go both directions. good. All right, put both feet flat on the ground. Well, let's come and we're going to start our sun salutations. So we'll sit up and grow tall in your spine. Hands on your, your legs. Let's start. Just grow tall in your head. Take a deep breath in and out. Bring your arms and palms to the front for mountain pose. And on our inhale, let's sweep our arms up to the sky for extended. Make sure to reach whatever feels comfortable. You can keep your arms out like this or you can bring them in and straight. Whatever feels comfortable to your shoulders. On your next exhale, fold forward. On your next inhale, let's halfway lift. Hands on your shins, making sure you're arching your back. Make a stretch. On your next exhale, fold over. You can even bring hand to opposite elbow and you can hang your head down if this feels good. You can feel the nice stretch in your lower back. Bring your hands back down. On the next inhale, slowly rise. Palms facing up, back to extended mountain, wherever it feels comfortable. Bring your hands to heart center. And exhale, bring them down. Now on our next one, we're going to bring your right leg forward, just a little bit. Okay, this is gonna help us do a little bit more of a stretch when we fold, fold over. So it can, be, it can be soft, it doesn't have to be completely straight. You can make it straighter if you go on the edge of your seat or just, just straighten it a little bit more than your left. On our next inhale, let's rise our arms to the sky for extended mountain. Making sure to keep your, um, yourself growing tall through your head, through the top of your crown. Exhale, 
Hold over that extended leg. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on your shin. Exhale, fold back over. Your hands can be on your shin when you fold over, on the floor, at your feet. Know your limits. It's gonna feel different every day. Inhale, rise your arms up to the sky. Inhale, bring your hands together. Exhale, hands to heart center. How'd that feel? That feel okay? All right, let's change sides. So bring your right foot in and your left foot out. Just as far as it feels comfortable. On our inhale, let's swoop our arms up to the sky for extended mountain pose. Growing tall, keeping your arms and shoulders where it feels comfortable. On our next exhale, fold over that left leg. Bring in your hands to wherever it feels comfortable. On your next inhale, halfway lift, hands on your shins, look forward. Exhale, fold back over your left leg. On your next inhale, swoop your arms up, rise to the sky, growing tall. Bring your hands back together. On your next exhale, bring them down to heart center. Let's bring your legs together and let's just take two nice deep inhales and exhales. We're gonna start our warrior series that I've put together for you. So let's bring your right foot, like we did last time, it can be out front or out to the side. Both work. And in our inhale, we're just gonna rise our arms forward, keeping a slight bend. Grow tall. It's very similar to extended mountain, but you can keep your arms kind of rested. We'll move into warrior two, which is bringing your right arm back and your left arm forward. You don't have to twist too much, twist as, as much as you feel like you can twist without feeling pain. Keeping growing tall in your back and your, and your grow tall through your crown of your head. Inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna reverse our warrior. So this right hand, bring it behind you and just rest it in the small of your back. If you want more of a twist, you can try and wrap it around, but just keep it behind you. Flip your left hand and you're gonna bring it up and look and look up to the sky with it. You can come as far back or just a slight bring it up. And this is our reverse warrior. It's a little miniature back bend. Very good. Bring your arms out. We're gonna do a seated waterfall. So this is very similar to our forward fold. So bring, um, shift your body facing your right leg, the extended leg, and inhale and exhale, just fold over with both hands on your shin. Making sure to really bring the energy of your, your top of your chest forward. You don't have to just round down, but as if you're reaching. This is a waterfall. I wanna remind you of what your intention for the class is. 
and try and bring it back to back to your thoughts. On our inhale, slowly rise back up to seated. You can wiggle it out, shake it out, whether it's your shoulders or your back, you can just kind of wiggle. And we'll go to our next side. All right, warrior one, left side. Let's extend your leg out front, or you can bring it to the side. Making sure you still grow tall. And we're gonna bring our arms up. And maybe make sure to grow tall and you can keep your shoulders slightly relaxed. Now let's tr um, transition to warrior two, bringing that left arm back and straightening that right arm forward. Remember to only lift as far as you can. If you only have to do one arm, do one arm. If you want to keep hands on hips, hips, you can keep hands on hips. Whatever feels comfortable. Even if it's if you have to go sideways like this, that works too. This just helps have a little twist. Now let's do our reverse warrior. Bring in that back arm, your left arm, just behind you in the small of your back or further. You can probably even have it on your hip. Reverse your right palm, and bring it to the sky or just right in front of you. And you grow tall in your head and you can take a little stretch, a little back bend or just bringing your, your right arm forward. Take a couple breaths. Very good, release your arms, bring them back on your knees. We'll get ready for the next pose of our waterfall pose. So shift your mid body towards that left leg. Take an inhale and reach down, keeping your chest energy going forward. You only have to go as far as you, as feels comfortable for you. Listen to your body. Take a couple natural inhales. Very good, slowly on your next inhale, rise back to seated. Bringing your left leg in. Take a couple deep breaths and shake it out, wiggle it out. Whatever feels nice to you, whatever your body needs. There you go, shake it out. Very nice. We're gonna work on a little bit of our little legs. So we're gonna hug one knee at a time in. And we'll start with our right leg. So I want you to make sure you're seated up. And I want you to clasp your hands together, your fingers. Bring it over your knee. Lifting onto your toes. And you can stop here or you can Bring it back. I'll show you from the side. So we're bringing our knee up and you can even pull with your body back. If you go like this, you, that's more, that you can do that too. That's like a fold. Or just bringing it up and back. Whichever feels good to you, you can do. This feels a little bit more um, control this, this is gonna give you a little bit more of a stretch, it feels like. So whichever variation you want, remember you can also just keep your toes on the ground. Go ahead and drop your right knee and let's move to your left knee. 
being grounded. Let's clasp your hands. We're gonna bring them over our left knee and taking whatever variation you need. Um, in the future, I, I think that we could also do a block. So if you wanna put your toes on a block and do it, go ahead and take your variation, either kind of rocking or fold into it. Don't forget to breathe. Rest your leg down. Now we're going to do a seated pigeon. So what that is, is we're gonna start with our right leg. Now, just like we lifted it, let's use our hand to bring it over our knee, as far over, but you kind of want it, <coughs> excuse me, to rest your ankle over or above your ankle over your knee. And it can just be a little bit, it can just be, um, you can even cross it, leg over your ankle, whatever feels comfortable. And if this is enough, you can stay right here. If you want a little bit more, you can slowly arch your, or, or make your back tall, grow tall, and you can hinge forward. And you should feel a stretch in your right thigh, upper hip. So whatever variation you need. <coughs> Excuse me. So you wanna breathe into the stretch because you're gonna feel it. And listen to your body. If you're in any pain, you can back out. If it's only slight discomfort, um, just breathe into it. But any pain, just come on out. All right, let's sit up and we'll switch legs. So slowly, gently bring your left or right leg down. And if you have to kind of windshield wiper, you can windshield wiper your legs. How are we doing? Good, good. Now let's move to your left leg. Remember you can use this method to bring it up. You can aid your foot coming up and crossing over. And you can take the variation of at your, at your um, here, <laughs> or you can bring it up. Remember to grow tall. You can stay just right here if it feels enough, but if you need more, you can lean forward into a fold. And just breathe into it. Feel that stretch in your left hip flexor. Now, if we do a yin version of this class, usually you hold poses a little longer, like two to five minutes, sometimes even longer. And that gives you a chance to just feel the pose and breathe into it. And sometimes you can go deeper into it. Take a couple more breaths. Slowly sit up. Help guide your foot down. And do a windshield wiper.
Now we have one more pose before we start just winding down. So we've been doing the seated twists, but what I've found is if you bring your legs out just a little bit more, yep, you can have your, we'll start with our um, left hand on your right foot, bring your arm, you can either come up and over or just hold on to the side. This allows you to have a little bit more of um, a better grip, grab, grab for a twist if, you're, if your legs are out. You can do it here, but this kind of just helps pull you in. So on your inhale, you wanna grow tall and exhale is where you twist. Inhale, growing tall again and exhale, twist. Now with your shoulder, if it hurts in your shoulder, come out with that shoulder and you can maybe put your hand on your hip, your right hand on your hip and your left hand on your arm and just do a slight twist. Vary it however it feels comfortable for, for your body. If you want more, you can even look over your right shoulder and it'll help stretch out this part of your neck, your left part of your neck. Just bring your gaze back to center and then rotate back around to the front. Let's do our left side. Bring in your right hand to your left leg your arm up and around or at your hip. And inhale, let's grow tall. And exhale, you can twist a little deeper, feeling that stretch. If you want a little more, you can take your gaze over your left shoulder. Don't forget to breathe into the pose. Any feelings of pain, you can come right back out of it or you can lessen it. You can always take it a step back, bringing your hand to your hip. Remember growing tall on inhale. And exhale, twisting into it. On your next inhale, bring your gaze back to forward, neutral. And bring your arms to follow, swing back around. You can get back comfortable into your seat if you haven't already. We're gonna bring our arms up and do some side, uh, just some stretching. So we're gonna paint our rainbows like we have before, bringing your palms facing out. Just some inhales up and exhales, push it down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, push it down. Let's take three more at your own pace. Go into your own breath. We're gonna do head circles again, starting with going towards the right. Maybe matching up your breath with movement. Maybe your inhales can be when you're facing down and around. Your exhales can be when you're looking up.
go ahead and reverse the direction of your head circles. When you're ready, bring your head to neutral. I want you to get comfy in your chair as we end our practice with our seated Shavasana. You can be relaxed, comfortable, relax your shoulders, relax your back, your hips, you can let your legs just spill out, lay out, whatever feels comfortable. If you wanna just sit kind of like this, find a position that's comfortable for you. And I want you to close your eyes or keep them soft. And take two deep breaths, inhale through the nose and let it out through the mouth. Gonna bring you back to your intention one final time for your practice. And now I want you to follow your natural breath. Your whole body works so hard. So this is the part of the practice where you get to absorb it. Do a scan of your body and find more ways to just let go and relax. The most challenging thing is just showing up. So I want you to thank yourself for showing up. I want you to take two deep inhales and exhales in through the nose and out the mouth. Just bring your hands to heart center. I want you to know that I'm proud of you. You are worth it and I love you. I hope you have a great rest of your day.